I'm a London mod, and we've got problems. The council decided to put a block on the venue, which had been booked sort of like sneakily, and because um, it was one of their own venue, say the town hall. And uh, they lost their rag about and kicked us out 48 hours before. But the thing is, uh, everybody's under the impression that we're troublemakers and things, and we're not. We just come away to have a good time. As you probably know, this is the Isle of Wight, and uh, there's a mud rally in progress at the moment. My name's Jodie, and I'm from London, and this is, this is Anne from Birmingham. We've known each other for about six or seven months. Is that what's Yeah, thanks to Matty. Hi, um, I'm Matty. We've we'll come down here from London with the rest of the geezers for the Isle of Wight one. I've been a mod about eight and a half years now. I'm just in from Lambton and I've been a mod for about five years. And I got into it because I knew some black who was sort of like, like jam. And then um, my mum knows Leslie Ash, who played the big role in Quadrophenia. You're not from Uncle Bob and Grafton, have you? No, not really. I've just been down to play my suit off. Yeah, what's it like? Handsome. So I saw the film and I just went crazy over it and I decided I wanted to turn mods. Whoa, how you're feeling. Felt that way too. So don't get hung up, cause it's healing. Hello, my name's Des from Birmingham. And uh, this is my 1963 Lambretta LI 150. As you can see, it's adorned in lights and mirrors and it looks pretty smart. But originally, when it was brought, it was worth £60 and it looked a bit of a heap. I completely stripped and rebuilt it and it's now worth approximately two or three hundred pounds. Hello everybody, it's, it's Gary Evans, the smart mod from Birmingham, spitting drink all over the place. <laughs> it's just a way of life, isn't it? Like I said to you life. earlier, it's like there's mods that will play it or, and they'll go out. I mean, like, all right, they've got some sauce because they're into a scene, which is good. Well, as far as I'm concerned, it's just, it's, it's what all I want, you know what I mean? Because Anne's like a hairdresser and she cuts my hair. <laughs> what, what every girl needs is a decent hairdresser. Mods wear style, we get her clothes tailor made, we buy quality brands like Burberry's, Austin Reed, stuff like that. So many different styles in hair, I mean, I cut Justina's last night, um, we had a, like a French line um, with uh, indicating a bob but cutting it really into emphasise the head shape. Hello, we've already said a few words about the uh, ins and outs of Lambrettas and here is the Lambrettas arch rival from the 60s, the Vespa scooter. As we've already said, outside of London the Vespa wasn't very popular, but it had its good points, its reliability. It also looked smart, in a kind, its big fat panels, robust construction. This is a Rally 200 built in the 70s, which is still very popular now and it's one of the best Vespers you can get with a top speed of about 75 miles per hour. Personally, I, I don't like the Vespa. I think it's uh, a bit ugly. It's very unstable, it's very light on the front. The Lambretta has got clean, smoother lines, it's got better handling, and it's got more power generally than the Vespa.
Zinke. This is Zinke from Scotland. Let's Tell us about Scotland, Zinke. Go. Done in pools at Berwick Street. So, um, material was about 45, and get it made like 120. And Mod is like the most purest fashion to come out of England ever. There will never, there will never be a fashion to move to to come near it. Shirts. That was from Brixton Market. Girls loafers, which look really smart on a daytime do with a pair of jeans. Levi's, of course, red label. These. I like pink. Um, it's from Flip in London, Flip in London, Flip in London. <laughs> from a well-known shoe shop, we've just got a little vanity case handbag, which is quite handy to put everything in a girl needs. I was quite lucky to get hold of a couple of new jumpers with zips up the back, which normally you can only get second-hand now. Uh, or buy just from old lady shops, you can normally find good crew necks, turtlenecks or, um, Fred Perry style jumpers. Weekend usually starts Wednesday, like, normally get some pills, pop some pills, and we go down to Camden Palace, so we go there till about three o'clock, then we go down to a cat, drink coffee, get home about five, go to work nine, get home on a Thursday, and then have a flick through the papers, there's usually like a gig on. So go and see a gig like Marriott, James Taylor, or otherwise there's a jazz club to go to. Friday, off we go, we've got like our clubs on a Friday. Make up early Saturday morning, go to all the textile places like, you know, you can go there. Before you get stuff made, you have to get all the materials. It's off to the club to about 11, and then on to the under club to about 8, and then to the coffee bar, and then down to Brick Lane Market. And like, by then you're like really exhausted, right? So you go and get some sleep. Two days to recover, and you're off again. Like, like mod girls on the scene, are they more, are they interested in boys or are they more interested in clothes? I mean, would they rather go out with a boy to the pictures or would they rather go out and buy themselves a shirt or Definitely. get a jacket? Well, personally, for my point of view, I'd rather go get myself a shirt. So, I spend a lot of money on clothes. Hello, my name is Tony Class, and I'm involved with the Mod Rally. So it's been for quite a number of years now. We're on the Isle of Wight this weekend, um, and I've never had the problems before that I've had this weekend on any of the Mod Rallies. The council are not really happy with any sort of scooterists or mods being on the island, and I really think that um, it's just their bloody mindedness. Scooter competition, a little bit of an out demonstration right out in front of the town hall. And uh, we found our own venues and we had a, we're having a wonderful time. But uh, we had to make a point to the politicians. Now we have one of the island politicians is here, Jeff Manners, and he supported us all the way through it. And uh, 
So that's what it's all about. He's down here to help us ju judge our scooter competition. And uh, uh, so is a representative from the police. Tell us, talk to the cameras there. Tell well, us about it. It's an absolute disgrace that Councillor Moore would have seen fit to uh, um, cast aside these visitors to the island. They're youngsters, they're spending money, they're good, they're clean, honest youngsters, and it's, it's despicable that Councillor Morgan and his colleagues have adopted this attitude. Discriminated against the same as what the, the ethnic minorities do. We're a cultural yeah. minority. We? A we're, like, we're a minority, man. And those that, that can't understand it would rather turn around and do the total opposite. You know what I mean? See, cause, yeah, what scares people, man, is like, what's, what freaks people out is they can't see they can't see a group of like smart kids dressed up in smart suits. Yeah, but you know why? Like, because they're being, being nasty. Yeah. So what do you think of this? I mean, like you know the council ban the town hall and all that. Well, they, they sort of cancelled it. Well, what the council do is a matter for them. And, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll tell you what the reason <laughs> for it is that they don't want to encourage anybody to come. They don't want to, they can't tell you not to come and they can't get us to tell you not to come. A lot of people might be racialists, but they look at a coloured person and say, well, he was born like that, that's not his choice. Okay. But like, they look at a mud and say, why is he like that? He doesn't have to dress like that. He doesn't have to... That doesn't have to be his way. It's out of order, basically. Yeah. It's supposed to be a well, shouldn't be allowed. What you've got to consider, you've got to look at your history, haven't you? Over the years, you've had a bad name. Uh, through different... This is a scooter rally. Well, yeah, through different yeah. groups all over the That's country. That's the whole reason we cut away from them, isn't it? Because of the trouble. People just don't appreciate what being a mod is. I think it's all... I think it's all part Oh, yeah, it does. Because, it, in effect, we're an underground sort of society sort yeah. of thing. But the thing is, like, because they don't appreciate it, they don't realise how good a time they can have if they were one. Cully Butter Scoot Club from Birmingham. Um, we've been formed since '86. It's about uh, 30 members. The club was formed in '86 to try and bring all the scooter riding mods in Birmingham together as a family, and uh, I think it's quite worked quite well. <laughs> We all meet on a Sunday night. Um, we have do's and meetings, events, and hopefully we'll have a few more do's in the future for charity. Thank you, Howard. Thank you, Howard. Thank you very much. We started off as a total scooter club, but since then we decided that uh, it's going to be a mud club because not all of us can afford scooters. Um, I find this is a better a way of things. Yeah, some of them too young. We'll have to look after the young kids as well. Not like getting them down to the runs on the back of the scooters. Um, we've been pretty lucky this year. Everybody's made it to the Isle of Wight. So. I think somebody down the other end wants to speak now. Don't you want to tell you the about so. I don't know what sort of stuff I do. Uh, I'm 14 years, 15 years old, come up to 16, got a Vespa 100. Uh, I started off being mud. You don't know what a Vespa 100 is, a 15 member. It's, a, it's a 50. <laughs> it's a 50. Uh, I started off being mud in 1983. Started getting on with the older lads. And uh, then I started being with some of the rallies.
and she's from London. At the moment, we're writing loads of stuff for the mod scene and about the actual mod scene today. So far, I've written a project which I've got top marks in all about mods. I've written a poetry book about mods, which I'm hoping to get published. <laughs> Such a thing as a subcult, a cult was formed, and um, the word teenager was born. We were totally whole new concept. What's your record to all these jeppies and all these casuals grand dressing the same? Oh, I think that's really bad, right? Because for one thing, they don't know what's going on. They're like, you get these like casual types come in, they think, oh yeah, I can dress like that, but they don't know why we're dressing like that, they haven't got a meaning behind it. But the thing is, like, I've noticed that this 60s like soul, Atlantic soul and all that, has become really popular for like the casual lot, and it's like in the charts and all this, and they think it's all new. Like James Brown. Yeah, and like, and before they would slag us off for listening to it, you know, being into the 60s and all that, and now they're into it, trying to think, oh, this is something new and all that stuff. Yeah. Right, one two, one two. Right, we're ready. Right, I'm Ian Jackson. I've been DJing since 1984. I've been doing like various clubs mainly in London, and I started DJing for Tony Class and the runs in 1986. What types of music like it's getting played, getting played on the mod scene at the moment is, got jazz, ska, soul, R&B, got the more modern stuff. I specialise in black music such as soul, jazz and blues, you know, because it's all stems together. See, all the music, it all goes round in a circle, because without jazz you wouldn't have soul, because jazz and soul are one. Like in the 60s, there was so much music like being produced, and uh, a lot of it got left behind, you see. And so, like, you know, 20 years on, these records are still being discovered, like, and they've never been played before, and people are discovering them, playing them and make, uh, making them popular. Like one thing I collect at the moment, it's like early Detroit, very early stuff on the Motown label, stuff from about 1959 onwards. I mean, obviously you've got your Motown, like, you've got your Motown stuff. I like to see classic label Motown, I mean, you know, everyone knows about Motown, you've got Isley Brothers, Marvin Gaye, stuff like that. And then, um, right, you've got, you got your mod label, you've got your Sue. Sue's like the, the mod label in the 60s. It's like a pie international, like, like I was saying, this was aimed for the R&B market, so it's like R&B series, so like you had, you had stuff like Bo Diddley on this, Slim Arpo, uh, James and stuff like this. I mean, it's like part of the mod culture, like the music is like, you know, I would say, you know, 40% of it. I mean, you've got your scooters, you've got your clothes, like, clothes are obsessive, but the records are equally obsessive. Yeah, we've got to go judge the scooter competition right now. Jeff, do you want to come along? Yeah, we'll, uh, yeah. we'll start at this end. Are you in the Yes. It's a Lambie. It's a Lambie. Blue Vespa. Johnny. Emma. Red plate. C824. Red plate. 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 Just for the next one. Yeah. The weekend's gone off very well as far as we're concerned. Uh, one or two minor incidents, but in, all together it's been quite a good uh, weekend for them and for us. Well, this is the last day of the rally. Gonna miss that sea. It's really been great. Don't, just don't want to go home. We 
we hope that um, we're not going to have a repetition of this next year, but one thing's for sure, we are coming back to ride because we realise that the only reason why they're putting up the obstacles in our way is to stop us returning, which makes, uh, makes us more determined to return. Are you going to rock? come from all over Britain, an estimated 10,000 bikers, all protesting at government plans to make them take a third test and wear leg protectors. For half an hour, the three-mile procession poured through Birmingham, bringing the city to a standstill. The governor of California just vetoed the helmet law for the second time, and I've come here all the way from Los Angeles, California, to show solidarity for my English brothers and sisters, and I hope they can do the same thing. Where are you from? Nottingham. You're enjoying it? I sure am. You've got a lot of motorcycle policemen there. Are they part of the demo or are they guarding you? We would like to think they were down here to demonstrate. I suspect they've been sent down to, to sort the traffic out. <laughs> Bye. 
Oh, no, no, no. 